Okay, this is lesson two, HSK three, lesson two. 他什么时候回来？啊、uh, ，Here this is sentence. He, 他 he, 什么时候？啊、uh, ，these four characters, 什么时候 ？is 呃、uh, ，is a question word means when. Literally, 什么 means what. 时候 means moment. So one moment. 回来。呃，回 return 来 come， so means come back 啊、uh, ， return and come， so come back 回来。So this is a question。他什么时候回来 ？OK， the first part is warm up for vocabulary。啊， so let's look at some vocabulary here。伞啊，伞。What does this character look like？ Sun means umbrella. Ah,、uh, so it looks like umbrella. Second one, 经理经理 is a job. Ah,、uh, it means manager. So which one looks like manager? Third one, 办公室呃、uh, 办公室 So literally, to translate this word, 办 means to deal with. Gong means kind of public business. Shi means room, so room to deal with some business. So ban gong shi together means office. So which one looks like office? Ah,、uh, next one, jiao. Jiao means feet, ah,、uh, foot. Jiao. Number five, lou. Lou means building, ah,、uh, lou. So yeah, we can see a building here. Last one, shu, shu means tree. Shu is tree. So which one is tree? So let's read them together. San, 经理办公室角楼树 Okay. So next one. Talk about what you're going to do after you finish doing each thing in column V1. So it's a、uh, person I feel it's a little bit odd, but they just want to show. I think it's practice for vocabulary. So, 起床 get up. What do you do after 起床 Say 吃早饭啊、uh, have breakfast. Uh, so maybe some people get up then they. Do other things like brush teeth. Ah,、uh, brush teeth. We say 刷牙 Ah,、uh, sometimes Chinese people we say 洗脸 So some people if they don't take shower in the morning, they 洗脸 wash face. Ah,、uh, I don't think we go straight to 吃早饭 Ah,、uh, have breakfast. But it's your choice. Ah,、uh, 吃饭 have meal. Ah,、uh, many things we can say after have meal. What do you do? So personally, I would say 看书 Read a book.、Uh, read a book after a meal. 写作业 This is in lesson one. We talk about 写 to write. 作业 homework. So do homework. Personally, I would prefer to say 做作业 do homework.、Uh, after doing homework, you can say 看电视 watch TV. 呃、uh, ，下课 I think 下课 What do you do? A、uh, 下课 means after lesson. So what do you do after lesson?、Uh, I can say 打篮球 play basketball. 打篮球呃、uh, 运动 sports. After sports, what do you do? Uh, maybe some people will say we haven't learned that. Maybe we can say 洗澡啊、uh, take a shower 洗澡呃、uh, 回家 go home. Uh, what do we do after going home? 回家 we can say 吃晚饭 have meal, have dinner. So, so you can add anything after that. I don't think there's a standard answer after that. It's just about your vocabulary. So, what do you do? Uh, okay, this is just vocabulary here. Uh, here is the first paragraph. Uh, let's look at the vocabulary in this part.、Uh, here, earlier we talk about 脚 feet. So here we talk about another word, 腿 
leg 腿，疼 hurt painful 疼，脚啊脚 is foot， 树树 means tree， 容易容易 easy， 难 difficult。Non difficult. So these are vocabulary. Uh, just a quick thing to talk about its、uh, radicals. We didn't talk much about it last lesson. So you can see 腿 and the 脚 these two characters. So if I type here, if I type 腿 T U I 腿 and 脚 J I A O 脚 so. If we type J I L, we can't see that character, so we need to find it. Yeah, I can see the number two. Can we see these two characters? They have something similar. Let me make it bigger. Can we see something similar? So they both have the radical of U.、Uh, they both have the left side. They both have this part in their character. So U.、Uh, Probably we know it means moon or month. However, it can、uh, 月 can、uh, in old time can mean flesh. F L E S H, flesh or meat. So some some words we we will actually use 月 to talk about human bodies, like part of your bodies, or some words related to your. Body. So, for example,、uh, we have pang,、uh, which means fat, but we can see the yue part. So,、uh, yue is radical for flesh、uh, or meat, but probably flesh. It's not the meat people eat. It's it's just human body. So, this is something. And the second one is the character teng. Sorry, teng is T E. N G Teng, yeah, the first one, and、uh, I will also type、uh, some vocabulary. So, for example, we say Bing, Bing, ah,、uh, and we can say Tong, Tong. Ah,、uh, if we can, ah,、uh, maybe Yang, Yang, maybe we can Yang, yeah. Can you see these four characters? Do they have similar part? Do they have a similar part? Yeah, they have the 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 part.、Uh, I can't type this here, but if maybe I can use some dictionary to help. Uh, uh, yeah, this one. Uh, we can use this dictionary to talk about this. Is shows radical here, so if we type radical, one, two, three, four, five, five.、Uh, this one, yeah, this is a radical. If we can copy paste, so if we paste here. Oh, sorry.、Uh, if we oh, we can't we can't paste like really. But if you can see, it's not very clear. I don't know if we can. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Yeah,、uh, all these characters they have this part. So this part is about sickness. So if you see in the character, you have this. Uh, it means sickness. It means you know well. You don't feel comfortable. So, the first character teng means pain, painful. Bing means sick. So, 我病了啊、uh, ，I'm sick, I'm ill. Tong tong also means painful, pain. Tong and teng just same. Uh, yang means itchy. So, yeah. So this is, and uh. uh So this is the second character I want to talk about. The last one is shu.、Uh, this is quite shu means tree. However, you probably see many characters with this part. So this 
actually pronounced as mu means wood uh, or means tree. So if we see the character with this part, probably that thing is made from wood. So shu means tree. So it will help us to memorize the characters. So if we go back here, these are vocabulary. Let's look at the conversation. Again, we have Xiao Li and Xiao Gang. Xiao Li first say, Xiao Xi Yi Xia Ba. Zamala. Wo Xian Zai Tui Ye Tung, Jiao Ye Tung. Hao Na Bian Shu Duo. Woman Guo Chu Zuo Yi Xia Ba. Shang Lai De Shi Ho. Wo Zama Mei Jue De Zama Lei. 上山容易,下山难,你不知道? OK, so this is the first paragraph. Uh, if we look at each sentence, first sentence, Xiaoli said, 休息一下吧. So first, this vocabulary, 休息 means rest. 休息. Uh, 一下 is very common, like Chinese grammar, means briefly. Uh, we like to use yi xia after the after the verbs. So we use yi xia many for many things. So for example, kan yi xia, kan, look, kan yi xia, have a look. Uh, uh, here we can also see we say zuo yi xia, uh, zuo sit, zuo yi xia. Let, let's sit down for you know for a short time. So. We like to use yi xia. If we translate yi xia, it means briefly. But however, when you say yi xia, it can mean just let's do it. So it can last quite a long time, not just briefly. But when we suggest something, we like to use like yi xia to, to say, it, you know, it's not very, not very long time, not very, you know, just let's do it. So yi xia. Uh, xiao xi means rest. So xiao xi yi xia, have a rest. Ba suggest. So it means let's have a rest. Uh, so again, if we look at the character, the first character show is really like makes sense. Uh, so if we look at this character, show means rest. Uh, can you see? Before we just talk about this is a tree, and the, the left side is human radical. So a person, if you think, leans against the tree. So it means a rest. So, xiu xi yi xia, xiu is, xiu xi, together means rest. Zemma le, uh, so we have learned many words we use zemma, so zemma itself means how, how to do things. Zemma yang means how is it, like tian qi zemma yang, how is the weather. However, if we say zemma le, it, it doesn't sound great. The mullet together can be translated as what's wrong. What's wrong? Okay. Uh, okay, next one. 我现在腿也疼,脚也疼. So, 我现在, now, 腿也疼, uh, leg also hurt, 脚也疼, the feet also hurts. So, also hurt. So, we don't actually have to use ye twice, but do I think Xiaoli wants to emphasize not just feet or not just legs, so they both hurt. Okay. Xiao Gang answer Hao Na Bian Shu Du Na Bian literally means that side. So can be translated as there. Shu tree Duo many. So English we say there are many trees there, so there, tree, many. 我们过去坐一下吧. 我们, we. 过去, 去 means go. 过去 is a very common word we use. So it means go there or go over. Go there. 坐, sit, 一下, brief, briefly. Ba, suggest. So we go there, sit, briefly. Suggest, let's do that. Okay. And shall we answer? 上来的时候, 我怎么没觉得这么累啊? Uh, 
first one, we look at the first part. 上来的时候 ，so 上来，上，呃、uh, ，we have some notes here if we look here. So 上 means go up. 下 means go down. 啊、uh, ，so here we have 山 means mountain. So 上山 go uphill, go. Go to the mountain or go uphill. 下山 go downhill. So it's similar pattern. If we say 上来，呃，上 means go up. 来 means come. So come up. And 下来，呃、uh, ，if we say 下来 ，yeah, we can say 呃、uh, come down. So we can use this. So 来 means to come this way. So 上来下来，上来的时候 when we come up here, come to here. 我怎么 I how 没觉得 didn't feel like how come I didn't feel 这么累这么 means so so 这么 so 累 tired. So how come so when we come Up, up here, here.、Uh, I how come ding? I how ding feel so tired, late tired. Ding feel so tired. 上山容易，下山难 This is Chinese saying. So 上山 go up hill. So like here, we just saw a、uh, 山 mountain hill. 上山 go up hill. 下山 go down hill. So we say, 上山容易，下山难。Go up hill easy, 容易 here easy. 下山 go down hill 难 difficult. 你不知道，嗯、呃，你不知道 looks like it's a statement. 你不知道 means you don't know. And if you want to make a question like in grammar, we we know we should say ma in the end. So. The proper sentence should say, 你不知道吗 Don't you know? Ah,、uh, 你不知道吗 However, in spoken, you don't have to say the 吗 You can omit that. So, you need to make the tone clear. It's a question. 你不知道啊、uh, 你不知道吗你不知道 If we just say, oh,、uh, if we just say you don't know, you say 你不知道 Ah,、uh, it's just very clear. I would suggest we just use 吗 to make it clear. So this is the first part of the conversation. Okay,、uh, we go to next part. So here we have some words, new words here. 太太，呃、uh, ，太太 means somebody's wife. Ah,、uh, Mrs. Madam. I would say Mrs. is the right answer, right translation. 太太，秘书 ，secretary， 秘书。经理 ，manager。经理，办公室，办公室 office。呃、uh, ，周 is a very common surname in Chinese. 周，周明 is the name of person. So here you see, you see 太太 means Mrs. So 周太太 Mrs. 周、uh, sounds like it's 周明 s wife. Uh, 秘书 secretary. So, so this conversation is between Zhou Tai Tai and 秘书、uh, secretary. For、uh, let's read them together. Read this part together. 喂，你好，请问周明在吗？周经理出去了，不在办公室。他去哪儿了？什么时候回来？他出去办事了，下午回来。回来了就让他给我打个电话。好的，他到了办公室，我就告诉他。Okay, uh, 
I think before we start, we we can ha have look a few new characters, uh, new words still here. So first one, Wei, is a Chinese way to say hello in the phone to to use a phone call. So you don't just say hello; you say Wei, then you say hello. It doesn't have any meaning, and they only use for phone call. So Wei, okay. Uh, uh, 出去. 出 means out, 去 means go, so 出去 means go out. Le, past tense, so went out. So 出去. Uh, so of course, if you can say 出去, go out, you can say 出来. 来 means come, so means come out. So you can say 出去, 出来. Uh, 办事, 他去, 他出去办事了. 办 means deal with, 事 means things. Uh, or business, so deal with some business. 办事, uh, 办事 sounds very general. It, it doesn't actually, somebody say, 我出去办事, I got to deal with something. Doesn't sound like give you any information at all. So just very, it's not very clear. Uh, 下午回来, uh, 回来, uh, come back. Uh, so 回来, uh, I also made a few notes here. 回 means return. So, 回家, go home, literally means return home. Uh, 回来, come back. 回去, go back. So, you can use 回 for return somewhere. Sorry. Uh, 回来, 嗯, 什么时候回来? 下午回来. In the afternoon, we'll come back. Uh, 回来了就让他给我打个电话. 让 means... Uh, to make. Uh, 他到了办公室就告诉, 告诉 means to tell. Okay, so let's look at translation. 喂,你好,请问周明在吗? 喂, hello in the phone. 你好, hello. 请问, 请问, 请 means please, 问 means ask. Does not mean please ask, means may I ask. So it's a polite way to ask a question. 请问, may I ask? 周明在吗? 周明在 means at ma question. 在吗 means is he here? Uh, is he there? So we say at question. Uh, is 周明 there? 周经理出去了. 周经理, manager, 周, 周 manager. 出去了, went out. 不在办公室, not at, uh, not in. Uh, office, so he's not in office. 他去哪了? Uh, he went where? Past tense. So he go where? Past tense. Where did you, did he went? Uh, where did he go? 什么时候回来? When? Come back. 他出去办事了? Uh, he go out, uh, deal with thing. Uh, so we put the in the end of sentence here. So uh, we probably won't say 他出去了办事. So you you will put so we have 出去 is verb, 办事 also a verb. So 出去 go out, 办事 deal with it, business. So then so means he did he went out for this purpose. Then put the in the end of sentence here. 下午回来, in the afternoon come back. 回来了就让他给我打个电话 So this is the main thing, main grammar point in this part 回来了 uh, Coming back So here 了, we said it's past tense However, it, it, it's not past It just means it's not the past Because he uh, clearly it says In the afternoon he will come back so why we put the le here as past tense? Because here we put le here as means after. So 回来了 means after he comes back. Uh, so 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 就让他给我打电话 就 means like as early as possible. Uh, like we said, 就 has many meanings. Last time we talked about 就 means already, but here 就 means as early as possible. So so. Because the the part after Joe will follow, you know, will be after uh, 
the Hui Lai Le. So it's like Hui Lai is will happen first. Then Rang Ta Gay Wo Da Gadian Hua. Rang make Ta him Gay Wo to me Da Gadian Hua make one phone call. Uh, here we should say Da Yi Gadian Hua or just say Da Dian Hua be fine, but you can just say Da Gadian Hua, you can omit E. So means after he come back, as early as possible, make him ask him to give me make a phone call. So this is a slightly complicated here, especially Joe in really emphasize. Rang ask him. Rang means ask. So it's very useful character. Ask somebody to do something. Joe uh, rang ta. As as early as possible, ask him. 给我打个电话 ，to me make a phone call. 好的 ，OK. 他到了办公室 Again, uh, he 他到了办公室 He arrived, uh, the office. So after he arrived office, 我就 I then I as early as possible 告诉他告诉 tell. So 他到了办公室 after he arrived. Arrived office. I as as early as possible tell him. So these are like quite difficult thing in Chinese learning. Some vocabulary they can mean quite a lot, especially Joe here. Okay, this is the second part.、Uh, the third part here we have some vocabulary.、Uh, first one, liang, measure word for vehicles.、Uh, so if we say 汽车 is car. One car we say 一辆汽车。啊，公共汽车 bus. You say 一辆公共汽车。So all vehicles. This is a measure word. 楼 building. 拿拿 means you hold something in your hand. So you take something. You fetch something. Yeah, 拿。呃，把把。Here it's not actually the bar sentence. Here is also a measure word and also things with handles. 伞 umbrella, 伞 Okay, yeah. Let's have a look here. 雨下的真大，你怎么回去？我送你吧。没事。我出去叫辆出租车就行了。那你等等，我上楼去给你拿把伞。好的，我跟你一起上去吧。你在这儿等，你在这儿等吧。我拿了伞就下来。Okay, here we have some、uh, grammar point. Here, the first sentence, 雨下的真大啊、uh, This part is quite tricky here. So, uh, first of all, we need to look at this character 的 Uh, the simple way to say that 的 after the verb, uh, then you have some other parts after this 的 Then, the part after 的 will modify the verb before this 的 So I got this website. Uh, so this is a very good, uh, very useful resource for grammar learning. Chinese、uh, Chinese grammar wiki. So here we have different. The, we have different, the, but today we can talk about this. The. So the after verbs. Uh, this the probably the trickiest. To crack English speakers, yeah, it is quite difficult. They used to construct various kinds of complements and is usually associated with verbs.、Uh, so here, the simple way we can say see is the verb after the. So here, 做的很好，做 to do 很好 very good. Then, then we can see do very well. So the the easy way to translate is, uh, very good in English. With it's an adjective, uh, 做 is a verb. 
So adjective cannot modify verb.、Uh, so you can't say do very.、Uh, maybe speaking, you can say do very good, but you, you, like proper English, you say do very well. So if you put a the between the verb and adjective, the adjective will become or so this part will become adverb. Then they go back to modify the verb. So. Do we understand this part will become adverb to modify the verb? However, we have to follow this structure. It's always a verb, the and adjective.、Uh, can be other things, but if we just put adjective after, you can't put the other way. You can't say adjective the and the verb. You can't do that. So if we use this the, this is a pattern. So, 说的太快，说 speak 太快 very quick. 呃，说的太快 ，speak too fast, too quickly. 啊，说的太快，玩玩的很开心，很 very 开心 ，happy. 玩的很开心，玩 means play or have fun. Play very happily. Yeah, 玩的很开心。So. Although 很开心 means happy, so if we have the here means happily. Ah,、uh, 开的很快 so 开 it means drive here, like 开车 so, uh, because this is not full sentence, probably mentioned 开车 before, so you here just need to use 开开 drive 很快 very quick, very fast. So 开的很快 drive very fast. 呃，住的很舒服，住 to live， 很舒服 ，very comfortable， so live very comfortably， 的啊、uh, ，to be to modify， 呃、uh, ，to connect 住 and 很舒服 ，live and comfortable， so 很舒服 ，comfortable to modify 住，呃、uh, ，so， 呃、uh, ，we don't have this， so。I saw some like wrong examples. So, for example, if we just say 做很好 it's wrong. So you have to have use this the. And if you say, um, sometimes you can say 说太快 but if you want to make clear, uh, in this structure, you need to use this the. So if we understand this, we we come back here. Uh, so 雨 means rain, and if we say to rain, we need to say 下雨 We need to say. 呃，下雨。And if we want to say it rains heavily, uh, uh, we we what we learned in normal in like simple we say 下大雨 It's okay, but here we want to really modify the verb. So 下雨 is a verb. However, it's kind of phrase. Xia is a verb, means to fall from like sky,、uh, to go down. We we talk about it. Yu is rain, so yu is a noun. So here we really need to think this as it's a word, but it's kind of a phrase. So so if we only modify the verb, so we fir first we say 下雨 then we say 下的呃，下的 ，notice 的，下的很大。啊、uh, ，sorry， this is this is different 下。this 下 means to scare somebody。this 下， so 下雨下的很大，下雨 to rain， and because 下 is a verb， 的 to connect 很大 very big or very heavy， so to rain heavily。So this is、uh, like full sentence to talk about rain, it rains and it rain very heavily. However, because we have this like both xia here, we can omit the first one. So so yu is rain. Ah,、uh, 下的很大 to fall very heavy. Ah,、uh, to rain very heavy. So you can see this is a tricky thing for Chinese. Language, it's not as simple as you just say to rain heavily.、Uh, we can say we need we can say just to rain. However, if we think this is a phrase, not just、uh, a word, so we need the the actual verb here, and the and adjective to modify the verb. 
so 下雨下的很大 or we just say 啊、uh, 雨下的很大啊、uh, the rain 下 means to fall from sky or to go down very big very heavily so this is a translation of the first sentence 雨下的呃真大真 means really so similar to 很 so rain falls really heavy really big 你怎么回去 you how go Uh, go home, go back, 回 return, 去 go, so 回去 means go back. 我送你吧。送 means to like give somebody a ride, uh, or see off. So 我送你吧。没事，呃，没事 means it doesn't matter. 没 means 没有 means don't, don't have 是 things so doesn't have anything. Uh, no problem. 我出去 I go out. 叫叫 means shout or call. 辆 is a measure word. 出租车出租车 taxi 就行了就 means then 行了 means okay.、Uh, so also still we have many vocabulary here. 呃、uh, ，我出去 I go out. 叫 if we say 叫一辆 maybe it's clearer. To call one taxi, 叫一辆出租车，就就 here means then. It does not mean as early as possible. 就 then 行了 means okay. Yeah, or it work. 行了 means it it's fine. It's okay. 啊、uh, ，那你等等。呃，那 we learned the last lesson. 那 means in that case, 你等等 then you wait. 等 means wait. 等等 wait a bit. 我上楼去给你拿把伞。我上楼，上楼 go upstairs。我上楼 ，I go upstairs。去 go， 啊，给你 ，here 给你 means for you or to give you for you。拿 ，to take， 啊、uh, ，to fetch。把 here is actually the measure word for 伞。So if you say 一把伞 ，is one umbrella。So we don't need to translate bar here. Sign is measure word. So then you wait a bit. I go upstairs to go for you take、uh, to get an umbrella. So I go upstairs to get umbrella for you.、Uh, 好的 ，OK。我跟你一起上去吧。I with you 一起 together 上去 go up 啊、uh, 吧 suggest so. Okay, let let's go up. Well, it sounds like upstairs, but just 上去 You can just say 上楼 It means go upstairs. 上去 just go up. Sounds like just means go upstairs. So go upstairs. 你在这儿等吧 Oh, it's not very nice. 你在这儿 You at here. 这儿 here. So you at here. 等 Wait. But suggest. So I suggest. Oh, can you wait for me here? 我拿了伞就下来 ，so here is l and the 就 the pattern。我拿了伞，呃，我拿了伞，拿 take 伞 umbrella。呃 ，I took umbrella means umbrella the take umbrella will happen first， then 就下来 ，then come back。so 就 here mean translates as early as possible、uh,。come downstairs。so 我拿了伞。Ah,、uh, so again, past tense here does not mean past tense means I do that first. So after I take the umbrella, then as early as possible I come downstairs. Yeah, come here. So、uh, later in our grammar point we have this l and the jiu, so it's quite tricky. Ah,、uh, okay, the last part, ah,、uh, pang, vocabulary pang. Fat. So we have this flesh part. 其实 so useful. 其实 actually, actually, 瘦 thin. Can you see thin has the part we talk about? This part, ah,、uh, 瘦 If I type 瘦 here, ah,、uh, 瘦 So when we type characters, we need to find the characters we use. So We press one.、Uh, can we see? Show also has this sickness、uh, radical. 
so in old time, like to be thin is not nice thing. So be fat is a good thing. Shou has this sickness, radical, and the pang has this like flesh. So means a lot of uh, fat or <laughs> flesh. So uh, so if we come back, you can. 我这么胖怎么办呢？<笑>你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉，也不出去走走，能不胖吗？其实我每天都运动，但是你一点儿也没瘦，你做什么运动了？做饭啊，做饭啊 ，cooking. Okay, uh, okay. So here is Zhou Tai Tai, Zhou Ming, uh, Mrs. Zhou, Mr. and Zhou.、Uh, he's there, come say. You can, you look, look at it. You can, you look. 我这么胖，呃、uh, ，I 这么 mean so. So I'm so fat. 我这么胖，怎么办？呃、uh, ，怎么办 ？Is also, uh, we 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 learned many words with 怎么 ，but here we have 怎么办。怎么 means how, 办 means deal with. So 怎么办 means how to deal. How can I deal with it? 怎么办呢 ？Ne is kind of question word to, uh, to just emphasize a little bit, but it doesn't have meaning like ma. So it's also another kind of, uh, question word. So 怎么办呢？你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉啊。Uh, 你每天晚上。You every day night, um,、嗯、吃了饭 so 吃饭 have meal so 吃了饭 have meal. Again, here 吃了饭 looks like it's past tense had meal, but it does not mean past tense means the have meal is is something happened first. Then as early as possible, 睡觉 so 吃了饭 after having meal, then as early as possible you go to bed. Yeah, it doesn't sound nice. 也不出去走走啊， uh, 也不也不 is like you don't even. It does not mean also not. It means not even. 啊、uh, ，出去走走 ，not even 出去 go out 走走 have a walk. 啊、uh, ，走走 means have. 啊、uh, ，not even go out to have a walk. 能不胖吗？能 means can or possible. 不胖 not fat. So is it possible you don't not fat? 啊、uh, ，how can you like? Is it, is it can you like not be not fat? Yeah, is it possible you not fat? 能不胖吗 Sounds quite harsh. 啊，周太太，其实我每天都运动。嗯，其实 actually 我每天都运动。I every day or so 都 or to modify 每天 so means all of every day 都运动。I do sports. 但是你一点儿也没瘦，<笑>你做什么运动了？嗯，但是 but 你一点儿，呃，一点儿也没。We we talk about last lesson. 一点儿也没 ，a little bit not even. So you not a little bit not even get thin. So you, you don't get you not thin at all. <laughs> Sounds really harsh. Uh, you not even like get thin thin at all a little bit. So. 呃，你做什么运动了 ？You do what sports? 啊、uh, ，做饭啊，啊、uh, ，cooking. Yeah, quite, quite funny. Cooking, 做饭啊，呃、uh, ，ah、uh, doesn't know me, doesn't have any meaning. So it just, just, just to emphasize. Ah,、uh, so it just kind of to show your tone. 做饭啊，啊、uh. ，Okay, so these are all the conversation here. Ah,、uh, let's read them together. Then we finish this part. 休息一下吧。怎么了？我现在腿也疼，脚也疼。好，那边数多，我们过去坐一下吧。上来的时候，我怎么没觉得这么累？上山容易，下山难，你不知道？喂，你好
，请问周明在吗？周经理出去了，不在办公室。他去哪儿了？什么时候回来？他出去办事了。下午回来，回来了就让他给我打个电话。好的，他到了办公室，我就告诉他。雨下的真大，你怎么回去？我送你吧。没事，我出去叫辆出租车就行了。那你等等，我上楼去给你拿把伞。好的，我跟你一起上去吧。你在这儿等吧，我拿了伞就下来。你看，我这么胖，怎么办呢？你每天晚上吃了饭就睡觉，也不出去走走，能不胖吗？其实我每天都运动，但是你一点儿也没瘦。你做什么运动了？做饭啊。